my friends. I'm excited. Today I've got a fun story, Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. <gasps> Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. What fun. Let's find out what this little adventure is all about. What is Pete up to? He's been baking! Pete the cat knows how to bake cupcakes. You bet he does. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's see what happens. Pete! Cupcakes, yummy, 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 yummy. Look at all these cupcakes. They're beautiful with sprinkles and sparkles. Oh, and one with a candle. Maybe it's a birthday cupcake. And another one with, oh, a monster cupcake. A Pete the Cat cupcake. Oh boy, oh boy. A turtle cupcake. There's some really good cupcakes here. Oh, Pete, these are incredible. Did you make all these cupcakes? Wow. They look amazing. They look delicious. Whoa, go Pete. Oh, we're in the kitchen. Oh boy, oh boy. Pete and Gus are in the kitchen. They were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for something special. For the cupcake party, it started at three. Oh boy, there's Gus. He's got his wooden spoon and a jar of milk. Pete's got his oven mitt on and he's got the flour. And his spoon is here. He's stirring and stirring. Getting some cupcakes ready. Oh boy, oh boy. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. <gasps> Can we count them too? Let's find out how many cupcakes do Pete and Gus have? How many did they make? <gasps> They're sitting in the windowsill right out and it's sunny outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep going. Seven, eight, good job, my friends. Nine, yes, and what's next? Ten, you got it. Pete made ten cupcakes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. They had ten when they were done. Hmm. Oh, no. Something happened. Hang on. Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been 10. How many cupcakes are there now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight cupcakes, but we just counted 10. This is a mystery. What does Pete say? Hmm, Pete said, maybe we need to count again. Okay, Pete, we could try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pete, there's only eight cupcakes. There was ten before. We counted them again and there's only eight. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. 
This is a mystery. Two cupcakes disappeared. Where did they go? Let's find out. Just then, they found a clue. They went outside. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. Squirrel, she loves sprinkles. <gasps> Did Squirrel eat the cupcakes? Maybe because she loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, no, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Oh, it wasn't Squirrel. No. Let's turn the page and find out. There's Pete the cat and Squirrel and Gus. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Let's count. We need to count cupcakes here. Help me out, my friends. Help me out. We need to count the cupcakes for Pete. We got to help him figure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cupcakes. Wait a minute, there were eight before. What is this if there are six now? But there were eight before. Eight, seven, six. That's two more missing cupcakes. Oh my goodness. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. What is going on here? Just then, they found another clue. Do you see the clue? Footprints. There's some footprints. Ah, this is getting really interesting. There is a clue and it's footprints on the ground. Pete said, I bet it was alligator. He loves to eat. But alligator said, no, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. <laughs> Alligator's been learning his ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Oh my goodness. What? Let's count. Let's count for Pete. One, two, three, four. There were only four. Someone had taken two more because we had six. But now we have four. Six, five, four, counting down. We got two more cupcakes missing. <gasps> but who? Who's taking all these cupcakes? Who wants cupcakes from Pete? Maybe somebody's really hungry for cupcakes. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. Do you see it? It's a red ladder. There's a red ladder. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. I don't know. Can turtle, can turtle climb up a ladder? I don't know if turtles can climb up ladders. Do you see?
see something? Let's look at this page very carefully. There's our friend Turtle. Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. It wasn't Turtle. He'd been swimming. Uh-oh. Look closely at the picture. Do you see anything going on by the window? Is somebody there? And is somebody lifting a cupcake up into the air? <laughs> I think we found somebody. The cupcake napper! It wasn't turtle, but more cupcakes are missing. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Where did they all go? They're all gone. Oh, poor Pete. Pete worked so hard to make all those cupcakes. Pete and Gus. Gus worked so hard too. They don't know what to do. But they started looking for another clue. Do you see a clue? Footprints. There's some interesting things going on in the grass here. What is this? All the friends gather round. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. There he is. It's Grumpy Toad. He's got icing all over his face. I am so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate until there were none. Everyone agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait. Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. We all make mistakes, right? That's how we learn. It's okay to make mistakes. Mistakes are how we learn new things. It's all good to make mistakes. Toad, you just made a mistake. Then you learned something new. So let's give him a second chance because that's what friends do. We love each other. We always give each other a second chance. Yeah, of course you can come to the party. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. <laughs> Grumpy Toad is doing his happy dance. Oh, boy, it looks like it's going to be a happy ending. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Look, he brought cupcakes for all his friends. Oh, wow, who is this pretty little guy? There's all the friends. Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. There they are, and Grumpy Toad brings in cupcakes. And there's balloons, oh boy, and flowers, red, yellow, and blue, and red, yellow, and blue, and they're having a cupcake party. Yay, that looks like fun, and all the friends are there together. Are they gonna eat all the cupcakes? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thanks, Pete. That was a great 
mystery to solve with 